So Meta just dropped their Llama 3.2 models, uh, and then within that, they dropped a whole series of models. Uh, the very first Llama models that have built-in vision, which is very cool. So uh, Llama 3.2 can now compete along the same lines as the GPT models. But on the other end of the equation, they released some small models, like a 1B model and a 2B. Uh, and so I want to, uh, these models are, are in my realm. I like to test these 1B models very specifically. And so today we're going to be testing out and I'll show you exactly how to run Llama 3.2 1B locally. This is the smallest version that they released. And then so up front, People, I think people don't understand exactly how large these models are, right? So I want to highlight that up front as the first thing here. So this is Llama 3.2 1B. Again, the smallest model that they can possibly release. And then just so you know, when we go through and we download this to our local computer and we, we run it locally, I have to, and I've already started this process of uh, having it installed locally. As we can see here, I'm kind of cheating and I'm running it here in the background of, of this command prompt. And that's because it's going to take you about 10 minutes to get it to download and install. We have to essentially this Llama 3.2 1B model on my computer is about 2.4 gigs. Not small at all, right? Uh, and then so just put that into perspective. So this Llama 3.2 1B, 1 billion parameters, is about 2.4 gigabytes. And then there's models that are 400 billion parameters, a trillion parameters. Uh, and then so if 1B is 2.4 gigabytes, then that just gives you, uh, you'll ne you're never going to run essentially like ChatGPT on consumer hardware. It's kind of the bottom line, right? And then so that's why I'm very obsessed with these 1B models is because they're LLM models that are small enough that I can actually run them on a, a local machine. And then so the very first thing that we do is we're, we want to go to the uh, on Hugging Face where we can get the model from. So I just go to huggingface.com and then on models and I'm going to type in Llama. If you type in like Llama 3.2, uh, it's going to maybe throw it off a little bit. Uh, so I just like to type in Llama, uh, but that works uh, there as well. And then this is the one that I want in particular. So you'll see the instruct models uh, and then the vision and then uh, Llama 3.2 1B. The difference between the instruct models and the 1B is that the instructs are, are specifically trained on instruction tasks, which we don't want them to be fine tuned on. And then when you very first go to this repository, You'll see that when I open this repository on my side, it gives me all of the model information. When you open this on your side, you're going to have a request uh, to submit for this model. So that's step one for you is you're going to want to uh, submit to request access to this model. If you don't do that and you follow the rest of the steps, you're going to get uh, access errors because you didn't actually request access. So step one, you can see I've been granted access to this gated model and that this is a gated model. And then so once we have uh, our access, it takes it took me about 30 minutes or so. Uh, you'll see when you go to your settings and then gated repositories, uh, it was pending and then it got accepted. And then so that's how I know that that's how I knew it was accepted. And then I could go in and uh, then go through and play around with the model. And then so once I got access, I just took this uh, as their like their uh, theirs. Uh, and then I just created a um, file for it and then so that's what we're actually calling the model from here uh, just as our simple test but so now we want to actually like go through and, and and play around with this model right so like install it locally um and then so very first thing that we're going to want to do uh, is install a local environment within this i can go through this a whole bunch of different ways but honestly chat gpt gives us like, really good uh instructions and clear instructions as to how to do this uh the right way, setting up your virtual environment, et cetera. So I'm gonna follow ChatGPT's instructions on this. Uh, so a very first step here that we're gonna do is we're gonna install our local environment uh, or our, our, um, our virtual environment. Uh, and then so I'm gonna just uh, set that up here now. Uh, and then, so this is to set up the virtual environment. And then once we have the virtual environment set up, we need to activate it. Since I'm in command prompt, it gives me the options for command prompt or PowerShell. I'm in command prompt here. So I'm just gonna go back over to command prompt and then activate the environment. And then once I have that, I'm going to want to install a bunch of packages. So I'm going to want to install uh, transformers, pip install transformers. And then in this instance, uh, you're going to want to install CUDA or uh, most likely you're probably going to want to install CUDA. I, I would not recommend running any of these models if you can't 
complete this step. So I think this would be actually a good next step for you. Make sure that you can actually do this. <laughs> you can download and install Torch uh, and do for everything that, that you need to do. Uh, and you can actually uh, run if you, you can, then you can run into some issues here. Um, and then 99% of the time, since we're running this on local hardware, you're going to want to pip install and accelerate as well. And then so uh, once you have all of these prerequisites installed, it's very simplistic to run a model, right? So we're just going to essentially run the Pi file, uh, which is in this instance, I've named it, named it llama321b.py. And then so I would just literally type in llama321b.py. And this is literally how I would execute and run the model locally. Right? Um, and then, but so again, I've kind of cheated it out a bit and I have it running here. Uh, and then, so I had it loading. Once I hit that execute, this is exactly what's gonna happen. It's gonna start to download the model. And then you'll see, again, the model is 2.47 gigabytes in total. So then, uh, and then I in the uh, script that we have here running, I'm asking it the key to life is, and it says the key to life is to be happy. The key to happiness is to be kind. And uh, that seems uh, pretty key to me as to the key to life. From here, now that I have the model loaded, I could easily communicate with the model, do other things with the model, reload the model if I want to, uh, et cetera. I can even train the model um, and, and go through and do any sort of steps that I want. But now I'm running Llama 3.2 1B locally on my computer in a local environment. I'm running Windows 11. Uh, I'm running a, uh, a laptop. Uh, with an RTX 4060 graphics card. So it is kind of higher end as far as the consumer and uh, GPUs that are available. Uh, but I'm not using anything else, like no um, like Llama CPP, nothing like that, right? Just running this purely in Python, showing you exactly how to run this, uh, set this up and run it here locally on your computer. And then from here, I can give Llama 3.2 1B uh, full access to my computer. Again, I did have to give uh, Meta uh, like full access to all of my credentials and all of my information uh, about me within this so that they can track if they want to, literally everything that I'm doing within this. But uh, from here, I can go through and do whatever I want with the Llama model. So I think that's pretty cool uh, there. And then if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.